Hey guys, Aidan here and welcome back to another Match Day vlog. Tonight, Hearts take on Ammonia in the UEFA Conference League at a bouncing Tynecastle Park. Massive game for the Jambos tonight in continental competition. Last time out in the Conference League was a 2-1 smashing grab win away to Dynamo Minsk behind closed doors. A last gasp header from Jan Danda, the first one he's ever scored according to the man himself, was enough to get three points on the board and Hart's first win of the season in any competition, let alone a European one. A fantastic result to savour. Obviously couldn't be at the game, but the tiny arms was drunk dry that night in celebration. He was hoping for some more tonight, some more celebrations and another famous victory under the lights in Gorgie. Score prediction, I'm going to go for a 2-0 Hearts, Shankland and Vargas to find the back of the net. Now, as ever in European competition, I'll never underestimate any team we face. I made that mistake once against Burkakara and that game did not end as planned. So, since then I've adopted that approach, no matter who you play, treat them with respect. But I think Hearts got a good chance to get another solid three points on the board. We're on our crest of a wave right now. We won 4-0 at the weekend in Neil Critchley's first game in charge against St Mirren. A very good performance. Hopefully more of the same tonight. Let's get to the game now. Won the Hearts. There's just something so special about those European nights under the lights in Gorgie. I'm absolutely buzzing for tonight's game, you know. I just think if we start fast, get the crowd onside early doors, even get an early goal, the roof will come off. And I just think it's going to be, it's got potential to be one of those unbelievable nights where you can say I was there when that game happened. <laughs> Wow, what a finish there. Alan Forrest, 1-0 Hearts, left foot into the roof of the net. Fantastic strike. Hearts 1, Ammonia 0. No. Superb. Shanks! What a shake with an incredible effort. Just comes to safety from the Ammonia goalkeeper. Hearts have a corner, it's 21 minutes in. Hearts one, I'm on you now. Fantastic start. Go. Oh. Frankie Kemp, hate to say it mate, that is an absolute sitter at the back post. Shoot! Yeah. Yeah.
The great start gets even better. Blair Spittle, what a goal! Right into the back of the net. Hartman Lothian, two. I'm on you now. It's only 25 minutes in. We're off to a dream start at Tyne Castle. Oh! Blair Spittle looking for the second goal of the game. Curls one, not far away right there, left hand post. Cyclone drags it wide. Not long before half time, Hearts are still two goals to the good. Not the worst. Oh! Almost a goal for Cyclone again. Hacked off the line at the last possible second. What a performance for Hearts in this first 45. Incredible stuff. Well, as first half score, that was not too bad. Half time here at Tyne Castle Park. Hartman Lothian 2, Ammonia 0. Goals from Alan Forrest and Blair Spittle have hearts in cruise control at the half time whistle. Just under 50 minutes to go here at Tyne Castle. It's still 2-0 to the Gorgie. A few changes here and there, but to be honest, a pretty uneventful second half, which I'll be honest, is completely fine by me. Just hang on to the result, it would be absolutely huge. Ben Rice. So Laurie, a pleasant night on commentary? Yeah, very enjoyable. I mean, two games, six goals scored and unconceded. Can't really complain with that. Uh, brilliant first half. I think we saw a different side of hearts. O'Neill Critchley saying that we're going to play a team that we're going to want to have a lot of the ball, different than St Mirren, but I think the controlled press was excellent. We let Amoni have the ball at times, but I think the aggressive nature of the play was brilliant. I think the player spit a fantastic first half. Um, Shows, shows what can happen when you play him in an attacking position. So he was incredible, deserved that goal. Probably should have been three or four and up in that first half, I thought. But then I think it's good that we saw the second half as well because the morning I did get further up the pitch. We thought they'd offer something more, but we really restricted them to long range shots. So I think we saw both the attacking side of hearts, but also the fact that we can be controlled and organised. Um, so I think that's good. You know, it's not just gung ho from Neil Critchley. He knows what he's doing. Um, and to make four changes from a team that won 4 0 and come away with 2-0 winners in the European game I think it's brilliant and the way that the new um, competition is set out two wins we're looking at maybe one more point another victory that'll probably get us through to the playoff round so I think that's a big incentive more money in the bank and yeah bring on the high bees eh <laughs>